Hey, hello everyone. Uh, today I want to tell you a story. Uh, I was playing with my Nakamichi RX 505 and suddenly I mentioned that uh, one of the outputs has a negative DC voltage on the output, like minus 300 millivolts. And this was pretty strange. So like, uh, I used like to check all schematics. Like I checked that on the uh, output from the audio amplifier, uh, there is like no DC voltage. But when it gets back from these boards, these two boards, back to the uh, uh, headphones amplifier here, boom, like I see that uh, there is negative voltage, right? I thought it's initially that it's one of the transistors on the headphone amplifier and I removed it and it didn't change. Then I thought it's probably this microchip here, operational amplifier, and I pulled it out and nothing changed it. And then like the only chance was to start looking on these boards. Specifically, this board don't have power supply, no transistors. And only the board which had is this small board. And uh, you see these two transistors right there. Let me make more light. Uh, so one of these two transistors get partially shot and was leaking negative voltage on the output. And that was the root cause. So I replaced both of them. And this transistor is just mute transistors, which mute the sound, right? And when you unmute, it uh, should work, right? But uh, it appears that one of these two, so that uh, they sit on this board right here. And let me show you on schematic. Uh, technically, when you're looking on the diagram, that's these two guys. So they just take a short signal to the ground. That's it. And there is no power supply on this board. This was like a puzzle for me. And then I started to measure and found that this control signal for mute. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so it comes from the main board. <coughs> and goes from one of these transistors. And it makes that the way it's uh, connected to minus 12 volts. And when transistor is open, it supplies plus 12 volts to the output. All right. And that's where like this minus 12 minus uh, going through resistors and we're supplying minus two volts closing voltage uh, on this pair. All right, here. And when it's open, like it supplies plus 12 volts and then they, they get open. Um, and eventually one of the transistors gets shot over time or it's degraded or whenever it's happening. And it started like this minus two volts from base started to leak into an emitter and going directly to the output. So you see there is just connection from here and it goes right, right to RCA output jacks on this schematic. So it's pretty unusual. I have never seen before. So if you will be looking uh, with your decks, your designs, uh, probably uh, it works to check and it may help you to find what's going on. From time to time, like this is uh, happening. I thought initially that probably is a problem with my um, amplifier. Because uh, from time to time I've seen there is a voltage, um, not big like 100, 200 millivolts. Now it's about 300 millivolts, but it appears it may well maybe the DEX uh, with uh, old transistors which do that, All right? So now we'll assemble and uh, continue enjoying this deck. So far so good. It's been like I believe five months now, four, five, six, maybe months. And this deck performs super well. It's one of my favorites now, uh, due to how beautiful the sound is. I did additional analysis, like I made a chart how this deck performs. And uh, 
that is um, TDKD90 D60, I believe, tape. And you see it has like two decibel bump on 17 gears. Everything else is like in the vocal range, about like 0 0.8 decibel between like 800 gears and 8 kilogears. See? And there is a biggest amplification on 2 kilogears. Probably that makes this sound so nice, so beautiful. That's for TDKSA tape and that's more linear for Sony XR. But still you see this bump here on zero level. Like you see it's, it's plus two decibel <laughs> at 17 gears. And it quickly goes like to 30 gears is already at zero. So it's fine. Right, so this makes this like uh, drums more punchy, bass guitars like playing more interesting, and this vocal range is is complete the picture. But you see, it can record on minus one decibel up to eighteen kilohertz. <laughs> wow, really really good deck. All right, so that would be it for today. Uh, I get some days off my job, so that's where I started to look into my decks. Uh, my last two months were quite intensive on my primary job. I had no time to work on decks. You probably mentioned that I released less videos than usual. So I hope uh, the next year I uh, will be better and I would be able to bring more interesting videos to you. There are already some guys waiting for service. So. See you and bye bye. Okay, guys, I have assembled, but uh, I'm not happy with the results because uh, I didn't have exact transistors much and I'm installed it uh, C945, and those are very noisy in this morning. So that's where they muted. We can see like that. So muted, nothing, right? When I uh, select source, when it gets unmuted, even if my source will be fully down, or, or like it's a playback in pause, I uh, hear this noise, high frequency noise, and this is killing me. Right, so I need to order, I probably need to find appropriate transistors uh to have it fixed fully so this may take time unfortunately as with all restorations it's always like uh depend on how many parts you have right and those are quite specific low noise transistors uh, which uh, can work with the negative um base to collector voltage 2SC2878. Alright. Let me see. I will order and install and then we will see if it will work. Alright everyone, my long wait is over. I received 20 of these uh, C2878 transistors. While I was researching, I learned that there was quite few, very few like uh, transistors uh, with similar um, parameters uh, release it ever and this has specific they have negative uh, HFE right so that's where like uh, I got this on eBay this has a nice uh, legs I believe the biggest issue with original that legs has been cover it with uh, lead and lead gets uh, deteriorated over time so I will replace all four I'm already pulled out uh, two sitting here and there's two more sitting on top so they all will go and uh, I will make sure that this deck will last for another couple decades <laughs> all right uh, unpleasant discovery like um, you probably mentioned that I started recording this video before New Year and now I'm continuing after New Year. I have to wait 
for the parts to come. All right, let me assemble and let's see how everything will perform. All right, everyone, new transistors installed, deck assembled partially, working. I'm testing the same tape I was playing yesterday and it keeps phase and levels exactly match till 15 kilohertz. everything is recorded on Nakamichi 680 full match so I'm pretty happy with results um, what else uh, when I was pulling out transistors uh, from the tape a tape paper tape was like uh, glue was really dried up I had to scratch transistor legs from the paper so this means the transistors are original and, and not modern Chinese like uh, substitute or even like counterfeit. Uh, I know multiple examples on the internet when guys buying uh, parts which just been like repainted uh, to match the older models. This one is good, so I can recommend the seller. Let me know if you need them. Now you learned, right? Uh, uh, that. Uh, output muting transistors even if they're not connected to power supply technically may introduce the negative voltage so if you see one now you will be able to know where to look at all right that's probably the second case i met over years when i see negative voltage and that's the first time i uh, repaired it because before it was not completely clear. It was like sometimes working fine, sometimes giving negative voltage. All right. So I hope this will help you with your research uh, and you enjoyed my work so far. So let me know what you will be interested in next. Thank you and bye-bye.